welcome to an F1 history, Opel Motorsport under the brand Rhone, of course. And this chapter is going to be called The Argument. We need to stand up our voice, we need to be heard on the paddock, we need to be taken seriously by the competition. So, the way we start this intro is going to be with the average speed zone. This is going to be the fastest lap that I take in the average speed zone. It's going to be enough. It was on the lap one. The other lap uh, I was slower than this. <laughs> and yeah, this is the qualifying session here in Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We are going to have a sprint race. And this is my last lap on the qualification for the Azerbaijan Baku Grand Prix. And this is a very awesome way to kick out the Grand Prix. Kaput. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. I'm not very okay. My proud was a little bit hurt. Finished. It's time to remind ourselves once again of our top three. Leclerc, and here we are. P16. Well, our qualifying. team made it the, the, the slowest Forget one here, but Forget never mind. We are going to make our best. So right here we are going to have a, a very, a very odd situation. As you can see right here, no one is speaking. <laughs> I just want to show off this because I think the F123 isn't prepared for sprint race. But here we go. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Russell, Norris, Albon, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Gasly, Richards, Magnussen, Sonoda, Stroll, Joe, Sargent, and Tatiana Calderon. Which of these drivers yeah. will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. We are with the high of the tiger right here, bro. We are here to climb the ladder, man. Let's go. Lights out and away we go. A very, very good start as usual. Against the AI, I always have a good start. So right here. I managed to avoid a damage situation, but even though I collide with Alonso, that's it. This was the opening, almost catching Alonso, but it was not, it was not possible. No, it wasn't. But we need to keep our, our heads up. Let's go, the first argument against the Alpine Alcon. A little bit of drift, a little bit of contact here and there, but we manage. Oh, not quite. Let's go. Okay. Giving in space, but I think we won this argument right here. This was the first one. So, looks like we are going to have another another thing with Hakan helping. Oh, yeah. It's quick because the guy has DRS. We didn't have much ERS to come back. That's it, Arkan. Goodbye, my friend. Right now, Valtteri Bottas. Man, this is going to be insane because Bottas is my rival. And I try to shut up the door, man. No way. This argument is mine. So this is the final lap. Right behind us. With the medium compound, it's Valtteri Bottas. My nemesis from F1 2020. Yes, I remember that battle. I remember all the battles. Right here, Bottas, you will not going to achieve an overtake. Please, no game. Don't give us. Give us. Give us. Oh, what's going to happen here? This result affects the drivers. God damn. Valtteri Bottas took us our position. It was such a close one. Such so freaking close, man. All right. So in the sprint race, the guy won. 
this argument. Let's go to see the highlights. It's very awesome to see the cars not perfectly line up. Here we go. The little touch with the long soak. Now, now I was able to see that I have a little touch with Okan too. There we go. This is an argument with Akan. Yeah, that's it. I think... Oh, no. We actually managed to win this. I remember that. It was on this turn, right? Yes, it was. I think Akan have a little touch on the wall. Which is awesome for us, of course. So right here, Akan is uh, already ahead of us. And we are fighting against Bottas. You know, Bottas in Portuguese means uh, boot. <laughs> so, we are trying to kick out bo Bottas. We are trying to cut the boot. <laughs> yeah, it was a very close one. It was by inches or centimeters. I'm not used to, to thinking inches, but yeah, very sadly, Bottas won this argument. And a warm welcome to you from a Zadlik square. Heart right, so we are going to begin course, right the now the race, the proper race, the proper GP. Oh boy, so we need to, to stand out and fight. Toes. Out of the barriers with 20 turns in the length of 3.7 miles baku city circuit in the heart of the azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance patience and precision 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line it's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race yeah, so right now we are seeing the grid line. I just want to say that in this Grand Prix I have a few changes made to my setup. It's nothing that it's off the Parc Fermé, of course, because the Parc Fermé is activated. But I have a need in this particular situation to increase the front braking bias to um, I believe it was 58 or maybe 57 but I'm more inclined to the 58 because the tire degradation on the rear wheels it's insanely big and I lost a lot of um, track position using the the regular setup that I apply to equal cars and uh, league racing so there is that even though with this this modification to the setup we still have a lot of tire degradation on the rear tires but you are already set up to see the race this is going to be a very big challenge for us and the light lights out and the way we go let's go we have a gun ahead of us let's go let's make a move yes we made it let's go we are in a good position we lock up the wheels made some drift we touched an album okay a warning with the collision are we going to be able to overtake the williams i believe that williams have the car even less developed than ours let's go baby Let's go, Opel. Let's go to make our stand. All right, so not quite yet. <laughs> we are two seconds ahead from Album, and we have Perez. Oh boy, let's say goodbye to the P8. 
we don't have a minimal chance to to have an argument with a uh, Red Bull that's obvious the best car on the grid so by Perez so right now it's Ocon once again let's go almost onto the walls it's almost on the same spot from the sprint we won that one so now it's the McLaren McLaren the second fourth right now in the F1 championship oh my god a little bit of touch yes it was a warning I was trying to break later to win the position that failed off but we still have a collision with it but looks like the fight isn't quite over he got the arrest we are going to make our stand or not a little bit of touch once again this is a very nasty fight let's go on this one oh come on man a little touch a big touch from a part but he fades off oh man i'm praying for prc have some damage over there right now pitting we are pitting remember on the last episode that we have the problem with the pitting team let's gonna see what's going to happen now <laughs> you already have that <laughs> you already saw that coming right i was trying this for a reason the same freaking problem man jesus christ so by the looks of it we didn't solve that problem right so we have piastri behind our backs probably he had some damage on that last argument we had with him but right now it, <laughs> shit is going to hit the fan fam so we are overtook by piastri but we got the sh we got a few problems here this is the problem yes of course i restart that shit yes and as usual i always show everything okay so we made a turn so right now old stroll with aston martin have a pit entry a little bit more comfortable for him he didn't have a need to to hit me right now try to defend the best that i can against magnuson what the half full display for myself man we cannot let magnuson go with that we need to overtake him the p12 is ours come on man do our best we are doing our best we are catching up as you can see he was trying to defend the best as he can he made a lot of collisions too to us but i believe that we are not with damage we have damage or wear into the engine but that's normal with ferrari engine okay so Hakan, i think i think i think if i'm not mistaken i think that i never overcame Hakan. he won this argument oh, bye bye Hakan. right now Bottas, no man you are my nemesis you are my rival you cannot have my position breaking the best that i can the latest the latest that i can but i i have a, the sense that i have a small touch on the wall but didn't appear the damage so which is good for us but as it's on our backs and we are side by side a little touch from bottas on to us a little bit of drift over there i was giving space to the driver of course and we freaking won yes let's go opal once again another fight with bottas oh another drift my rear tire was almost out completely out well once again another fight i believe this time with hulkenberg nico hulkenberg he's catching up us he's right behind us He's taking the vacuum. 
But oh yes, baby, that it was the final lap. Okay, I didn't score any points, but I was ahead of Bottas. We kicked the boot. Okay, this is in the sprint. We start on P16, win that on P14. An absolutely wild and then in the race, the Formula One action. And I can't wait to that's see it. What's next. Valtteri Bottas in P15, right? It's fine by me, and this is the highlights. I love to see the highlights, man. Awesome, the cars are awesome. The third with album and the drift, yep. Such a nice view from the cars, man. Love Formula One. This is the fight with Piastri, right? Yes! He made a drift, I made a drift. It's a race incident, right? This is not a school trip. This is racing. Here we go. Just give him enough space for him to breathe. But we overtook him. Right now, P13, the bad luck number. I believe it's my number. And yes, the fight with Magnuson. By the looks of it, Magnuson was able to scratch our side pods, but he didn't appear damage in the, you know, that thing. MDF thing, I believe. And now we made a stand against Bottas. That it was the break late turn. This was the side by side one that we won. I love this. I love this. It's impossible not to love this part, man. Look at this, man. Awesome. Oh, this is the side by side fight. Yeah. Let's go! Another turn side by side. Soft against the heart. And it pays off. Let's go, baby. A little slow motion. Our car is beautiful, man. And probably that was the point that Valtteri Bottas probably had some scratches in the car. And yes. Even though we finish up in the race ahead of him, he won the most points on the rivalry breakdown. So we are now at the same level as a teammate and our team. Let's gonna see. Yes, it's on the level six. Awesome. And we won a, a little bit more money. So right now it's time to invest and we are going to try to improve our second driver. Tatiana is going to stick with us for this entire history. So we don't have enough enough money to improve the, the team, the, the pit equipment. So I'm going to do some fitness center for the second driver. Hopefully he's going to improve. And yes, this is where we stand. We have already some engine wear that was expected to, to happen because yes, we are with a Ferrari engine to honor our group Stellantis. There is not much that we can improve. I was seeing this through and I suddenly get the information that we need to upgrade our R&D or factory to improve the vi some developments I didn't know that I didn't know that sorry <laughs> because I'm actually not a big player in my team the last time that I play uh, my team it was on F1 2020 and it was with Opel with the custom livery which is very nice took me a little bit of uh, I think it was one week or two to make delivery because I need to 
learn how to make it all but it went very well so in order to make our chill out session to be out from here we are going to make some time attack here in miami and this is the goodbye from this episode i'm going to leave you with the chill out moment in miami so goodbye Thank mm -hmm. you.